What the fuck is up, boys? Look, I want to do a different type of video. I'm going to review the best Elise in the world. Yes, best Elise in the world. Currently master tier in EUS. So a pretty good server. Not Turkey, not Brazil. EUS, right? Sorry for if you're Brazilian watching this. 86% uh, win rate, bro. And master. That's insane. That's literally insane. 57 game. Look at the kitty. Insane kitty. So look, today I'm going to review one of her games and see how she's playing the jungle and like what she's doing exactly to get that, that high of a win rate in master tier at US. So let's get it ready to do it, boys. I'm just going to jump in the game and analyze what he does. So let's see. I'm going to keep the camera on him so we can see what he's doing. And I'm going to put fast forward some parts that just does nothing. So early on, right? When he's starting blue side, that's important to note. When he's starting blue side, he always goes here. And while recalling, guys, you can put your trinket. So he recalls and put his trinket here. Then he goes back and he buys the, the red trinket. Okay, the reason you want to do that is because you want to see if the other jungle is going to invade your other buff. Because if you don't ward here, you don't, you're never going to know if the jungle is going to invade your other buff. But if you ward here, if I put the Ildi's vision right, you can see now he, he has vision. And we're going to see if the Kha'Zix wants to invade. And with Elise, what I also saw is he always starts bot side. So you always want to start with your bot side just because you want the best leash possible. So that's what always what the guys does. What this guy does. So you start W, of course. So he doubles you the red and he goes in spider form. And what's important is normally, I think right now he thinks the Jenna is going to E him. But I guess the Jenna doesn't. After you, you hit the red, you want to let your spider tank it. So the spider dies, so you're not that low. So he does red. That's really important. He does red. He skipped red to skip golems. He goes straight to blue. So red to blue, straight up. And then you do the blue. Into grump. Into gank. So now you red trinket to see if there's any wards here. He always most of the time go mid so let's see now you want to gank mid it's coming nice to get a free flash here oh nice they might kill her yep that's a kill really good really really good so now he's gonna push the lane because the zoe died and she doesn't have tp it'll be good now he goes for the crab bot side is she not gonna die yeah she dies it's all good because he got the crab. Okay, so then he's gonna go for a gank because the balling here they're not really well placed. The positioning. So there's all flashes gets one. Maybe gonna get two. Damn, she got the kill. Nice. That's really good. Okay, Kazix normally around here. Let's see. Not even. He's doing the, the crab. Perfect. So that's good for her. I'm gonna keep the vision on her only so we can see what she's seeing in real time. <laughs> So when you're playing Elise, you don't want to farm your jungle too much. As you can see, it's, it's we're almost four minutes in, right? And this guy already ganked it twice. I'm already ganked it two leads. With Elise guys, you want to gank. You don't want to farm only your jungle, right? You're not playing Master Yi. You're not playing Evelyn. You're not playing the scale. You're playing early game. You're, you're playing one of the best champions to dive, the best gankers. You want to gank. So with Elise, also really easy to do the golems because once they're all mini, you just do one W and it's going to make them all explode. We're going to see this right there. Just like that. So it's really nice to do the columns. So recall, what does he buy? So the Dark Seal right now, there's so much value in the Dark Seal. I think it's 350. It's so cheap and it's so good. I'm gonna put the items on the screen that he buys a bit like Mid Beast does. If you guys watch Mid Beast and try to go mid, try to content gank, but it's too late. Just pushes the wave. Okay, let's see what he does now. Okay, he goes for his raids because he you knows Kazakh's top side. Let's see where Kazakh's is. Kazakh's actually recalled. Oh, just for to be safe, he doesn't go here because Kha'Zix could be sitting in this bush right here. So he goes for the raids instead. Okay. Now you should be looking for a gank mid. Yep. So you red trinkets. It's possible. It's not possible. So he leaves. He's going bot. There's a ward here. Can't get a ward in time. So this is warded. Now he wants to do dragon. Kha'Zix is here. As you're too low, they can't turn. So he's probably gonna go to the golems then. Kha'Zix might be on dragon. Actually, Kha'Zix is on dragon. So this guy wants to turn, but he, he can't do anything just because his balling both recalled. So he might go for a gank mid instead. Yep, that's what he's doing right now. Nicely done, nicely done. Okay, one thing I want to point out about this guy, guys. This guy does this a lot. 
compared to the other elise, right? I'm gonna put it back and just show you guys what is this guy's doing instead of the other elise. So as you can see, right? If nor like normally, what elise players would do right here is try to land a cocoon from the bush. This guy doesn't do that at all. This guy uses his spider form. He uses the repel, so the E of the spider form, to get closer, and then he do he does the stun basically. So a lot of elise would never do that. Right there, they would walk up, try to land a stun, which is really hard, right? Because Zoe is pretty far away. And, like, good players, right? This is high yield. This is master tier. E west. So this is really good. Players know how to dodge, right? So instead of doing that, she uses her E to go closer, right? So look at the distance now. It's way closer than before, right? So now there's a more or higher chance of landing the cocoon. So there she lands it, and there she goes in. Really well done. Really well done. Nice gank. She couldn't get the dragon, so she went for the gank instead. Really good. So now she's probably gonna help push the lane. Yep, nice. Gonna get the crab. And then the stun, so it breaks the shield. And really important, don't miss the stun. Nice. What is he gonna do? Maybe, can we? Can they dive him? Yeah, they can dive him. He's really low, so they might go for a dive here. She goes around. Perfect. She, so this guy needs to push the lane right now. This guy needs to push the wave so he can dive. Yep, that's what he's doing. W the wave. Nice. Okay, let's see the, let's see the dive. Let's see how she plays it. Oh, the cocoon was not the best right there. Dodges the Malphite R with the E. Well, nice. Nicely done. Except the cocoon was nicely done. Good. Probably going to push one more wave. Yep. Pushes one more wave. Get some plates. I would have fast forward this. Perfect. Into recall. Now, she, I don't know if she has enough for Knight of Erster, but he should have a lot of gold. Maybe not even. Okay. It's close enough. These are all the components for Knight of Erster. So one thing also to note, he, this guy never buy boots. It's even tier two, tier one boots, this guy never buys them because in the runes, he has a uh, relentless hunter. So he's pretty fast. As you can see, he's 384 without any boots. So this guy never buy boots. I guess it's to get the power spike of the mythic item, Knight of Erster faster. So he doesn't buy boots. Uses his e. That's also another thing I see this guy doing a lot. He uses his E to get on the camps, so to gain time in the jungle basically. Like instead of walking all the way around there, he just goes there, he uses the repel to get on the walls. So his clear is pretty efficient. For at least he's getting a lot of times. I might see a gank top here. Yep, there's a pink, so it's a good setup. Malphite, no R, he's coming to ward on the cocoon. Nice cocoon. Into a CC of Orn. He has flash, but he might not flash because he's dead anyway. Yep, nice, nice gank right there. Nice timing. Okay, so now he's doing the Herald, where's Kha'Zix? In base. So this is this is a free Herald right there. So doom, pulling out the Herald, so Kha'Zix um, can't steal it as easily if he jumps over it. And pulling it towards top side, right? Because we did just kill Malphite, so it's more safe. Perfect, gonna get the Herald, gonna get the Crab, perfect. To Grump. To recall. Perfect. Now you should add Knight of Esther. Boom, you got it. So this is the spike on the least. You do so much damage once you have that item. It's pretty crazy. Okay, I'm gonna put this vision only. Nice. Let's see. He's going for a gank bot here. Pink. He spotted. Try to repel over the wall. Doesn't work at all. Still going. Still going. He probably wants to dive here because if they kill both of them, he could have dropped the Herald and get first threat on the plates. So I think he might still drop the Herald here because they recalled. Nice, he got the ground. Yep, I think they're gonna get a lot of plates here and drop the Herald. Their balling should be in base. Yep, either they're coming back to lane, but yep, that's what he's gonna do. All right, so that's really good. Always, okay guys, the Herald is way more worth than the first dragon. The reason is because with the arrow you can get first threat with all the plates, which is a lot of gold. A lot of gold. Dragon is 25 gold only. And the stats of the first Drake is really not that worth it. Arrow is way better. Sweeping around. Dragon's up soon. I don't think he's gonna he might do it though, but I don't think so. I mean he's so far ahead, he can do it pretty much whatever you want. Okay, he's gonna do the dragon. We see Kazik, so it's pretty safe. Nice, no, just solo the Drake, Rappels. You see, these these are the kind of details, guys. You can you can use your E spider form on these plants here. It works even on wards, normal wards. Probably gonna go for the crab here. Yep. So the crab is spawning soon. Land the E break the shield. Yep. To the crab. Okay, so the early game is kind of done now because the turret the bottom is fallen and top is almost fallen. So let's see what he does now. He farms his jungle. He calls. Probably gonna get this boots now. Boot second. Yep. Finish the boots. Sorks. Don't don't get mobies, bro. Mobies like season six. Don't get mobies. It's not good. Grumps gone. Kazakh's counter jungle. All right. There's a gank potential here. 
Malphite has R and has Fog though. Let's see how he plays it. He's looking. Uh, should I go around? Should I go around? He doesn't go around for some reason. Malphite does the worst R I've seen in my entire life. What is this guy doing? We don't know. Okay, nice flash in. Got the kill here. Pretty good. Should get the threat of this now. Jenna can roam now because the threat is gone ball lane. That's really good. Yep, get the turret. So, look at the amount of pressure that guy's putting on the map, right? He's farming his jungle really well on top of actually ganking a lot of lanes. Turret was already fallen. Turret was already fallen. It's 30 minutes in. This game, at this point, the game's over. Kha'Zix taking the blue, but he's on the ward, so they know he's here. He might fall here. Okay, let's see what this guy does. He's running mid, sweeping around, trying to catch someone off guard. She knows there's a ward. Okay, what does he do? He go farms the jungle, uses the E on the camps all the time. This guy don't want to waste any time. You guys need to, to do this. People all the time just go around, they waste a lot of time. Just choose your E. What are you gonna do? Red? Yup. Really good. The, the early game is what's most important here. But I'm still gonna carry on to see how he makes it snowball even harder. He, he takes Kha'Zix on the Krog, probably, so you wanna kill the Kha'Zix or gank top. Yup. So Malphite just had a turret, so Malphite's dead here for sure. He doesn't have all, doesn't have flash, because that's he used it last time he at least came in. This is just a free kill now. Yeah, from that point on, the game is pretty much over. Got the second herald. There's no pressure. Pulls it towards the pit because they're the the crab. The Kha'Zix took the crab. And he doesn't want them to see him doing the, the herald. Gets the herald. Goes in the jungle, farms the jungle. Alright, Elise can fall off pretty hard in the mid late game, so you want to keep farming the jungle pretty efficiently so you don't fall off, fall off as hard, right? So we see the build now. He goes for Narda Vester first, Boot second, and Zonia's third. So Orglass third. He wants to contest the Drake, but all his team is in the base. He might not be able to. He's gonna go for the steal here. Let's see, can he do it? Kha'Zix really low. If he lands the cocoon, Kha'Zix dead. Kha'Zix jumps away and he steals the dragon. Um, that's unlucky for Kha'Zix. His team didn't help him get the Drake here. I mean, his team is probably tilted. He's probably spamming jungle death right now. So he's going mid right now uh, to get the crab on the other side of the map, I guess. Yep. Okay. Let's gonna steal a rate of rates. Pretty easy to do the rates on the leads. You do their W, there's a lot of damage all around the board, and you finish off with your spider form. Yep. He's waiting for Kha'Zix to come here. Or go around. I think they might just go around at this point. Yep. Landing the cocoon. Almost landing the cocoon. The damage is insane. The damage is, is insane. She sees it. Zoe, but I don't want to chase. Kha'Zix might be here. Dropping the arrow mid. At this point, it's just. It's just over replaying. So the Zoe can't. Hit Q on her. Israel queuing in China right there. It's 18 minutes in. They're at the inner turret. Oh, she might drop here. Does she drop? Nope. Flashes away. Kiana saving all of this team with the beautiful ultimate right there on the wall. Really well done. Alright, so the inner turret is gone at 18 minutes. Yikes. That's a jungle. At this point, this guy is not even with the team, right? Okay, that's also another point I want to talk about. If you know your team is going to take the turret, it's going to take the inib, don't go with them. It's useless, right? There, are, Two of them are dead. These are so far behind, it's not even funny. It's not even close, right? Let them take the inib. It's worthless for you to be there right, with them. They're going to take it anyway. So just go and take other resources like the jungle, right? Because on top of you getting the jungle, you're also removing the jungle camps from Kha'Zix so that he's not going to be able to take them when he respawns, right? Because look at the map. If she takes all of these, right? Look what Kaz is going to do when he respawns. This is not up. This is not up. This is not... Everything's going to be not going to be up. Kaz is going to be in more trouble. He's not going to have anything. So it's even worse. So that's why you want to counter jungle instead of staying with your team on top of it. And it puts you ahead, but it's also going to put the other jungle behind. Yep, get a kill here. This is honestly over aggressive. They need to back off here. When you get the enemy, you need to back off one in the lane. Either bot or top. Boom, taking all the jungle, like I said, perfect. So now nothing's up right now. So when Kha'Zix is going to be up, right? Let's see what he's trying to do. So as you can see here, Kha'Zix is going in his jungle, right? So he does the red, right? But after the red, nothing's up. What is he going to do? This is not up. He's like, oh shit. Yeah, what do I do? You see, he's standing there like, what What, what do I do, right? 
While this guy can also farm his jungle, right? So his gromp, his wolves, everything's still up. All his boss sides up. So this is pretty much textbook jungle, what this guy's doing right there. Now this guy's doing the raids. They want to invade. Let's put his vision. They know he's here. They want to catch him right here. That should be a kill. Ah, rip. Kha'Zix knew somehow. Baron spawning, so they might do Baron on spawn. He wants to catch Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix not going there. They get on the Baron. They still have 50-50 smite. Because Kha'Zix 12 and she's level 12, so let's see. Kha'Zix coming in right now from the bot side. Maybe gonna try to steal it. <laughs> Malphite ulating in and then... Flashing out for some reason. Kha'Zix not even going for the smite because they turned. They're not on their Baron anymore. Malphite getting destroyed even though he's a tank. Malphite absolutely getting demolished. Orin flushing in after the oh, Israel flushing in still. Oh my god, Kazakh is out of there, man. So they're still on the Baron. Ailey's farming the Baron right now, trying to get it down low enough so he can kill the Baron. I mean, I mean that, that game alone is honestly jungle diff. Like the gank she did with the, the timings were perfect. Everything was perfect. Boom, recalls. What does she buy? So it looks like she's going for a Benchy second, I think. Oh, they just a theft. The game's over. I mean, that was pretty clean. That was really pretty clean. It's a quick, quick little review um, of her jungle. Uh, pretty much the number one Elise world at this point. The best win rate in every single Elise across all servers, across the you know the highest rank basically. So it's the best Elise world. Pretty sure you can call her best Elise world. Kinchi, um, this guy's insane. So that's it, boys. Um, I'm gonna drop the runes again here on the screen. I'm gonna drop the build path. This guy typically goes. And uh, yeah, that's it. Just drop a comment if you want uh, a review of a specific champion that you'd like me to review. I can find like the best players playing a specific champion and do a review on them. Um, or if you have any comment, whatever it is about the video. Um, yeah, that's it, man. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Also, just drop in a comment if you guys like these type of videos. Um, so yeah, that's it, boys. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.